when you bought one of those books, or paperback books then of Tone and Emmett and all those, and, uh, they were issued. Get them for nine pounds. Nine pounds was a lot of money. He had a great Gaelic outlook. He made a very, much more than I did. He made a great study of the old culture and the language. Went to make an effort not to miss the next time. And that there was going to be a next time, and, and soon. We weren't going to wait forever. And you can't leave anyone alive after, because if you do, you're going to get your innocent people executed. They give you the low down on them and where they were. And you just went and rubbed them out. And you reported back. You didn't put it in writing. You reported back that they were gone, that's all. In town, there were maybe six agents. And they knew even what you were thinking of. They knew what you had for your breakfast, dinner, and supper, if you had it. And that was the, the road as well in that direction, you see, to find out and keep tabs on anyone with, anyone that had national sympathy, fearless, undetermined. And I suppose, maybe a bit of scruples. I don't make any bones about killing. Anyone that comes into my house or my country and tries to take over by force, I'm going to kill him, and I'll use any and every means to do it. But I would never follow it with Michael Collins about it. I could stay friendly with him all the time, but the treaty to me was negation of everything I was stood for. I wasn't going to be compelled to give allegiance to any foreign king, and I think to me, a cheap price to pay. Because you must remember, that when I was a boy, we were slave-minded, serfs. And they would come along and lift us out of that position. I looked upon them as gods. The people of Ireland. Then after that come the hills and dales and river. I can look at them, but I can't look at them if the people aren't there. And I am not one bit sorry for it. To any man or God.